So after I tested over hundreds of nootropics and nootropic supplements, I want to share with you a couple of those nootropics that I really cannot live without. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm a brain hacker creating content that will help you upgrade your brain performance. And if this interests you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. So which are the nootropics that I really cannot live without at this very moment? I want to share them with you. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a couple of hints that will help you get the most out of those nootropic compounds. So if you're ready, let's just begin. Oh, by the way, they're sorted in no particular order. So just so you know. Now, I'm a big fan of Rhodiola rosea. Now, this is an adaptogen herb known to reduce fatigue but also reduce stress levels. So as you probably know, I'm a very active individual. I run this YouTube channel, I run a blog, um, and I'm a brain health professional. I work with other people to help them achieve better brain performance and peak performance. So I'm often under severe stress. And to avoid that or to minimize the effects of stress, I love supplementing Rhodiola Rosea because that's exactly what this nootropic does. Besides, it can improve your mood. Um, and I really love this side effect of rhodiola. Now, studies also show that supplementing rhodiola can improve your cognition, probably because of the reduced stress and fatigue. But anyway, it's really good to take it uh, because of all those benefits. Up here, you can learn more about this amazing nootropic. Now, I like to combine rhodiola rosea with bacopa muneri or bramhe. Bramhe is another adaptogen herb that has been used in the Ayurveda, in the traditional medicine. Um, and it's great also for reducing stress, but mainly people supplement it because it can improve your memory. So if you wanna achieve peak performance, of course you wanna have a great memory. It's really important for me as well. And that's why I've been supplementing Bacopa for years and I really love the effects. You can definitely notice the effects after about six to eight weeks of supplementing it. And because it is so effective, I'm a really big fan of Bacopa. And if you want to learn more about other benefits, click up here and check out my video. Now, if good memory is important for you, then of course you need to take care of your sleep. Um, you need to make sure that a region called hippocampus, that's a small region in your brain, works well, but also that you have enough of the neurotransmitter called acetylcholine in your brain. Now, how can you increase the amount of acetylcholine? As by either taking supplements that contain choline or by eating foods that is high in choline, like tofu, like broccoli, and so on. Now, when it comes to supplements and nootropics, two nootropics are really good for increasing the amount of acetylcholine uh, in your brain. One of them is alpha-GPC and another one is acetylcholine. And they're pretty similar. So alpha-GPC is a natural choline compound found in your brain. And if you supplement it, you will, or you should notice an improved memory. Now, acetylcholine is also important for learning. And that's what uh, you can improve by supplementing either alpha-GPC or acetylcholine. Another cool benefit of these compounds is that they can help reduce or decrease uh, cognitive decline. For example, one study showed that people were given uh, 400 milligrams of alpha-GPC three times per day. So uh, the total sum was 1.2 grams of alpha-GPC per day. In a couple of weeks, they had reduced symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. So these were people with mild to moderate symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. And in just a couple of weeks, they saw the benefits. And this is a, an additional great benefit, especially if you decide to take these nootropics for long term. By the way, guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Please press the like button below. Now, I also cannot live without supplementing uh, medicinal mushrooms like lion's mane mushroom and reishi. Lion's mane mushroom is great for improving your cognition. Um, it's great for its uh, anti-inflammatory benefits. It's a powerful antioxidant that uh, can slow down cognitive decline. At least that's what studies in mice show, but also there's one study done on, on humans and it shows pretty much the same effects. And some studies show that it can help uh, to prevent Alzheimer's disease or at least uh, reduce the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease and dementia. And because of that, uh, Lion's mane mushroom has been on my menu for a very long time. I've been taking it for a very long time and I highly recommend doing that. Now, some people are in a better mood when they supplement it. This doesn't you know, happen with me, 
but you can try it out and if you feel better, I mean, this is just another benefit of this compound. And the other one, the other mushroom that I really like is called reishi. Now reishi contains very powerful anti-inflammatory compounds and it can help uh, fight cancer, it can uh, kill cancer cells and it's a really strong antioxidant and really good nootropic for you. Now, some people also supplement because of its effects on depression and anxiety and stress. And I also read about the fact that it can uh, improve sleep quality. Um, so lots of benefits if you take uh, these two mushrooms. And L-theanine is probably right now my favorite nootropic for focus and attention, because that's what it does. You can feel the effects immediately after you supplement it or if you prefer, you can also you know, drink green tea or get L-theanine with some caffeine. And actually, the funny thing is, L-theanine is often combined with caffeine. Now, I sometimes do that. Um, in this video up here, you can learn why and you know how to do it in the best way. But sometimes I just take L-theanine on its own. And L-theanine really helps me achieve this peak performance. So it helps me get in the flow state and stay in the flow state for a couple of hours without any anxiety, nervousness, uh, jittery, or those kind of side effects. And that's why I like it. Another good benefit is that it goes well together with most other nootropics, actually with all the nootropics that I just mentioned. And yeah, that's really good because sometimes it's hard to combine certain nootropics. Uh, but in this case, this works really well. Now, you know, in the, in the past years, I really learned a lot about nootropics. Um, I've tested so many, so many combinations that um, certain things, certain know-how is, you know, for me, it's just normal. I just know certain things, but for the majority of people, it's like, oh, that's how I should take them or that's what I should do. You know, um, it just became too obvious for me. Um, and for example, one of the hacks that I want to share with you today is if I were you, I would take L-theanine in the morning. I would take alpha-GPC or cyticaline in the morning as well with lion's mane mushroom. But rhodiola, bacopa monieri, and reishi, these nootropics, I would take in the afternoon. And the reason for that is that they may reduce your energy or motivation, especially bacopa, it's problematic, or they may relax you a bit too much. Because if you want to achieve peak performance, you need um, acetylcholine, you need dopamine, and some uh, noradrenaline in your brain, right? Um, you need those compounds pumping you up, you need to be motivated, you need to be focused, you need to have the enough energy. And these compounds can reduce your energy, reduce your motivation a bit too much. So take them in the afternoon, or let's say it like this, take them when you're not working, um, because that's when you want to be relaxed, that's when you want to get the benefits of those compounds. And when you're working, take the other compounds, because they're gonna push you forward, give you the energy, give you the focus, and the brain power that you need. Keep in mind that, you know, taking the tropics is really good for brain health. Um, it's really good for improving brain performance, but this is only one pillar of achieving peak performance or peak brain performance. It's only one pillar. If you want to learn more about other four pillars, then check out my video about the best brain hacks to achieve optimal brain performance. And you can learn more about it up here somewhere. And if you're searching for top quality nootropic supplements, you can find them in the description below. Awesome, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow your inception and I hope to see you soon again. Take care.